Does that mean that it is open season for right honourable members of this house to make derogatory and divisive remarks about our appearance? The hurt and pain felt by already vulnerable Muslim women when they are described as looking like bank robbers and letterboxes. Yeah. Sing the sea. Yeah, yeah, Thank you very much. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, if I decide to wear a turban, or you decide to wear a cross, or he decides to wear a kippah or a skull cap, or she decides to wear a hijab or a burqa, does that mean that it is open season for right honourable members of this house to make derogatory and divisive remarks about our appearance? For those of us who from a young age have had to endure and face up to being called names such as Cowlhead or Taliban or coming from Bongo Bongo land, we can appreciate full well the hurt and pain felt by already vulnerable Muslim women when they are described as looking like bank robbers and letterboxes. Yeah. So, so rather than hide behind sham and whitewash investigations, when will the Prime Minister finally apologise for his derogatory and racist remarks? Which Racist remarks, Mr. Speaker, which have led to a spike in hate crime. Yeah. And given the increasing prevalence of yeah. such incidents within his party, when will the Prime Minister finally order an inquiry into Islamophobia within the Conservative Party, something which he and his Chancellor promised on national television? Yeah. Yeah. Order, order. Let's hear the answer. The Prime Minister. Um, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Order. 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 The response from the Prime Minister will be heard. The Prime Minister. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, can, I, can I just say to the uh, honourable gentleman that if he took the trouble to read the article in question, he would see that it was a strong liberal defence, as he uh, began his question by saying, of everybody's right to wear whatever they want in this country. And I speak as somebody who is not only proud to have uh, Muslim ancestors, but to be related to Sikhs uh, such, as, uh, such as himself. And I'm also proud, Mr. Speaker, to say that under this government, we have the most diverse, the most diverse cabinet in the history of this country. And we, we truly reflect, we truly reflect modern Britain. We truly reflect modern Britain. And, Mr. Speaker, what we have yet to hear from anywhere in the Labour Party is any hint of apology for the virus of anti-Semitism that is now rampant, now rampant in their ranks. And I, I want to hear, I would like to hear that from the Honourable Member opposite.